Hello guys, welcome to another table tennis training session. The purpose of these tutorials is to tell you about the mistakes that I have been making while learning to play table tennis and also I want to show you some of the equipment that I use and how I use it. Some of these mistakes include buying expensive equipment, choosing the wrong rackets, wrong rubbers, bad habits, etc. Some of my equipment includes the wheel and rebouncer, a table tennis robot, a table tennis trainer, and some other stuff that I will show you in the future. Right now I'm taking table tennis lessons, so I have been getting better, but there is still a long road ahead. So let's start with the video. So the first thing that I want to start highlighting is the importance of warming up. This is something that I was not doing consistently before, but now I do it every time. And the reason is simple. When you start playing cold, your movement is not as smooth as it should be which means that you're going to start practicing with a bad technique, which also creates bad habit. Also keep in mind that you're going to get injured in the long term, so it's always a good idea for any sport to warm up first. Usually I take about 10 minutes to warm up. In the first 5 minutes, I do rotations and moving from one side of the table to the other. And in the last 5 minutes, I do some shadow training. Also, I want to notice that even though I have been practicing a lot, I still move my shoulder a lot. Uh, that's something that I really need to improve or keep in my mind for the next uh, training session. As you can see, uh, in this training session, I'm using a wheel and rebouncer. The wheel and rebouncer is a well-made tool that emulates two main shots, top spin and back spin. I feel this tool is perfect to practice the loop once you have a better understanding of the technique. The bottom of the wheel and rebouncer uses an inverted rubber and on the top uses a uh, short pimples. This helps with the backspin and control while returning the ball. Now let's watch a couple shots. I want to point out that even though this might look easy, it's not. It is really hard to make the ball come back because you need to hit the ball in a certain way, hit the other side of the table in the right spot and in the right speed and have the bouncer in the correct position, otherwise it's not going to work. I recommend that if you don't have a partner and if you really want to improve quickly in practice, you start first with a table tennis robot. It is about the same price as the rebouncer, but you can practice uh, different skills without having to pick up the ball every time you miss a shot or use the wrong technique. I recommend the Zeus table tennis robot. I think the price is fair and it is really easy to use. I'm saying this because I have tried the butterfly uh, Amico, I think it's called. And yes, it is more advanced, but it is pricey and more complex to use. Uh, at least in this point, I don't think it's worth uh, to buy it for a regular consumer. Having said this, uh, please let me know if you guys have any questions, advice, tips. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel, give me a like. And if you want to buy any of the equipment that you see uh, in this video, the links are in the description. Uh, if you guys buy anything from the links, I will receive a small commission. So I really appreciate if you guys can do that because this will help me a lot, you know, for to keep doing these type of videos. So thank you so much and see you on the next video.